Kentucky is one of the least healthy states in the Union, ranking you know, in the bottom of virtually every list, or the top of every list of poor health status. Hey, Mr. Sabe, how are you? Good, I'm Susan Elrod, I'm a nurse practitioner here. Type two diabetes, hyperlipidemia, hypertension, asthma, COPD, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. I'd say those are the basics of what we see. We're the largest federally qualified health center in Kentucky and operate seven community health center sites here in Jefferson County. Nearly 53% of our patients are currently uninsured. I would say overall, as far as the Affordable Care Act goes, patients don't really know how it's going to affect them. I don't know that they fully grasp that it's really coming up. Either they're going to be eligible for Medicaid or they're going to have to figure out how they're going to get private health insurance and they're going to need to pay for that. Hello, Ms. Altia. How are you, my dear? Good. Does it hurt when I'm touching it? Mm-mm, it's just, it doesn't hurt. My heart dropped when I found the knot in my left breast. Believe it or not, my first thought was, I don't have insurance. That was my first thought. It wasn't, oh, the knot. It was, where am I going to get treated? I don't have insurance. I think what we'll do is get you set up for uh, diagnostic mammogram, ultrasound, and possible breast biopsy. Hopefully they won't have to go to that point. But There's no well. question that we will have to undertake a massive outreach campaign over the summer to make our patients aware of the uh, benefits under the Affordable Care Act. And that's one of our biggest challenges right now as we speak, is to educate and to motivate people. They may be able to come here on a sliding fee scale, but when they would have to be referred out to a specialist or a hospital, they'll run into significant barriers without that insurance. This is the, the building uh, just to the right here. You can see this blank wall will soon have some windows. We have received nearly $5.4 million under the Affordable Care Act to expand facilities. This whole first floor will be the uh, new uh, waiting and reception area. There will be people who will have insurance for the first time and who will be seeking out access to primary care services and we believe that many of them will turn to us. You can get a sense of the uh, size and so we want to be a provider of choice. We want to meet uh, our customers' needs. Big deep breath. Yeah, you definitely have some um, some crackles in your lower lobes of your lungs, which is indicative of pulmonary edema, which is something that can happen in people that have congestive heart failure. So um, I think we're going to need to send you to the emergency room. Do you feel strong enough to drive, or would you like for me to call an ambulance? I almost think we, we'd be better off calling an ambulance, just because... I can drive if I have to go. I had insurance at one time. It was 125 a month, and I, then I got di diagnosed with diabetes. And it went all the way up to, I, I couldn't pay any more after it hit over $500 a month. I, I would really prefer you get a ride to the emergency room. Well, I'm going to go take my truck home because I can't afford to leave my truck. That's my livelihood out there. The insulin cost me $240 a month. And then all the pills that you got to take. I got a sack full of pills. <laughs> and it just, you know. You know, I, just, I don't get better, I just, I maintain. Mr. Olson, he did not want to go to the hospital at all because obviously being admitted for three or four days, the, the, the amount of bills that he would incur are unbelievable. I know this is not what you wanted, but some people, they are very ill by the time we finally see them just because they don't want to have to pay. 
Family Health Center is going to be pretty proactive at trying to get patients signing up for, for health insurance in the next six months or so. Okay, all right. As of now, I, I really don't think that they understand what is going to be out there for them.